Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We haven't uploaded in a while. We just moved to a new house and I've been decorating it and I've been on my Instagram game posting photos and stuff. Um, you can follow me at Cassidy.bow. So today I am going thrifting. I am at Goodwill right now. Um, I'm only going to Goodwill's today because today's Sunday and that's literally all that's open. <laughs> Um, I didn't realize that when I decided today was the day I was gonna go thrifting, but that's fine Tomorrow's Monday, and I, I think after work tomorrow I might just go to some more local thrift stores and see what I can find um, I was asked to help build a basket wall for someone which is exciting. I'm here trying to find baskets I'm going to find I actually want to find some just baskets for my house also uh, And then I guess just other random things. I don't really have anything else in mind specifically. I think so um, we'll just see if we can find anything good, but I thought that I would do a thrift with me video and then also how to create like the perfect basket wall or how to create a basket wall. So, um, I think that could be cool and I'm doing thrift stores, but I think I'm going to go to possibly TJ Maxx and Target too, just cause they have some kind of cool basket type things sometimes too. So we'll see if we can find thrifting. I'm going to go to this Goodwill and then I'm going to go to another Goodwill on the other side of town. And then there's a Target and like home goods and stuff over there. So that those ones tend to be a little bit better than on this side of the town, but I wanted to come to Goodwill here. It's not like it's that far away either, like 10 minutes. So, and also I am in the Goodwill parking lot right now and there are so many people here. It is, um, it's 2.30 on a Sunday. I really don't know why there's so many people, but yeah. So we'll see what I can get. to the second goodwill i did find some things at the first goodwill so i'll show those later this goodwill is pretty busy too there's a good amount of people but we'll see so let's see what we can find uh, cross your fingers for some good baskets and stuff
kind of wonky. <laughs> the sun is literally directly coming into my face because it's starting to set a little bit. Um, okay, I'm just gonna try to talk with the sun on my face quick. But um, I finished at the Goodwill and now I'm gonna go into TJ Maxx and then I'm gonna go to Target and look for baskets for the basket wall. And then tomorrow I'm gonna continue thrifting so you can see the thrifting from tomorrow to see if I find anything. So bringing it back to now, we're at TJ Maxx and then I'm gonna go to Target and I'll show you if I find anything for the basket wall. <laughs> Allie and Townsie and today is the next day and we are at a local thrift store and we're gonna go see what we can find here I'm filming on my phone because I forgot the camera because we like last minute decided to all go because um, I was gonna come myself uh, but we're just gonna go to this one thrift store today because they're not open much longer and this is like the only one that's open um, and tomorrow we might hit up one more but we'll see what we can find here <music> It is the next day now and I am at another local thrift store. I'm going to go to one more after this and see what I can find. I'm um, still looking for mostly baskets for the basket wall. Um, and then we'll see if they have anything else cool. So come along with me. found two cool baskets one's a nice big one that's like a nice light color it's really great the other one is um it's kind of like an octagon almost but it's made out of popsicle sticks and it's really cool um and it's not it wasn't exactly what I thought I was going for but it was kind of unique and I really liked it so I got that and then I did find a necklace and a shirt that are really cool so yeah now I'm at the last thrift store I'm gonna go to in this video uh so we'll see what we can find here So it was a big thrift store, but they really didn't have like any good stuff um, That's the vibe I got from the whole store. It, just, it was just like picked over and like Not great not great So I think I'm gonna stop and run at Goodwill really quick just because it's been a couple days So maybe they'll have a couple other baskets. So we'll see just got out of Goodwill and I found a couple good things which is exciting so that's gonna be all the thrift that I'm gonna do I think I have enough baskets from basket walls so we'll see how that goes together um, but yeah I'm gonna be doing a thrift haul and try on next and I'm gonna be showing you how the basket wall comes together so. hey everyone so here I am to do the haul slash try on part of this thrift with me so I think I'm gonna go into the things that weren't baskets and weren't clothes first, and then I'll go to clothes, and then I'll go to all the baskets because that's the whole thing at the end with the basket wall and everything. This thing that I found at one of the thrift stores was this pink plate. I don't know, okay. It's like, a, it's like a slight pink plate, but it's like glass, and I don't know. It was really cool, and I just really liked it, and I thought it would be fun, like if somebody came over, you could put like little snacks or something on this, and it was kind of unique, so. Yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool. The one thing I didn't like about this thrift store is that they wrote on the stuff with like marker of some sort, like dry erase or sharp, I don't even know. I think it's dry erase because it's coming off pretty good. But now it's on my finger. <laughs> um, I didn't really like that they did that. I thought it was kind of weird, but whatever. So I really like that plate. Another thing that I found was this. So I don't know, something went in this. There's like a blue mark in this, but 
The reason I like this is because I like little things like this to put on my shelves as like decor and stuff and I thought if it was sitting just like this on a shelf and I have some like higher shelves where like you can't just like walk over and see over them so I thought if it was just sitting on the shelf like this like how cool is that it's just like I love stuff that is really funky shapes and everything just thought this was super cool it's like textured we love so the next thing I found is this let's see if you can see how it looks um but it's like tan with like some brown in it and yeah it seems like it's just like a pillar candle holder but i just thought it was kind of cool and this is another thing that i could just like set on the shelf and it looked kind of cool and i could set um a candle on top of it if i wanted to so this was 99 cents forgot to say the prices and then this one was 199 so um yeah pretty good i got this little white pitcher for towns because i want him to work on like pouring and stuff i like to do like montessori hands-on sensory stuff with him and he doesn't have a pourer and they're actually like not the easiest thing to find that are like pretty inexpensive so i got this for 1.99 at goodwill it is like kind of could be breakable if he drops it on the ground but i figured if he's playing with it at his table hopefully it'll just stay at his table and you won't just like be dropping it on the hard floor or something so we'll give this a go another thing i found was this so it's very interesting i don't even know like what you would really call this this was 199 but it was half off because it i think because it was a purple tag um and it's just interesting so i thought it would just be another cool thing to like set somewhere you could put some stuff in it if you wanted to I don't know, I just thought it was interesting so moving into like jewelry and clothes i actually found this gold necklace um i wouldn't i don't normally look for jewelry at the thrift stores but this one had jewelry by the checkout and i was just looking and um it has this little piece on it right here but i can just like take that off super easy um but it just seemed like a really nice like gold necklace um and i wear ones ugh. and i wear ones like this like every day so i thought it was cool and i would give it a try so the first clothing item i found is this it's this like maroon shirt. It has like some white speckles in it, which is interesting. This is for Alex. This is like the only thing I got him. But I just thought, I saw it and I thought it was like a nice shirt. And it is a nice shirt and we do like it, but we're just not in love with it. Um, I don't know. And we try not to like keep things that we don't like really, really, really like. So I might return this one because we like it. It's a really nice shirt, but I don't know. We just weren't like totally feeling it. The next item I found was this shirt, um, and it's kind of like a beachy, like, summery, like, it's a very flowy and airy top, which I really liked, um, purple tag, so I think it was half off, um, but I just thought it might be a nice flowy shirt, so we'll see how this fits. I really like to wear simple things like this a lot. I found this H&M, like, little shirt sweater uh it's very 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 like soft and the material is super nice so i'm excited to try this one on and see how it fits it's like a little bit cropped it's not like super short um but it's like a little bit cropped which i like and i feel like this would be a really good sweater to like tuck into jeans and stuff like that and you could also layer stuff over it really nicely uh so yeah it's in really good condition and like it basically seems brand new so i'm excited to see how this fits Okay, so this next piece, there's a little bit of a story with this one. I used to go to Old Navy. I don't really go there anymore much, but in the past, I used to like to shop there. And there was this jacket, and I always loved it, but they were always so expensive. And so then when I was at Goodwill, I found it. It's this. It's like soft and fuzzy, and then it's got the brown. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Um, it definitely needs to be washed but i found it for ten dollars and normally it was like i don't know 80 or something ridiculous um but yeah i love this coat so i'm excited to see how it fits and to wash it and wear it another clothing piece i got was this so this is kind of like it feels kind of like suede a little bit uh it's brown i just thought it was like a nice simple overshirt it's real buttoned up right now but i might not wear it buttoned up like you might wear it just like over something um we'll see in the try on but yeah i just thought that this was kind of cool and it would look cool over something that's kind of like a little over shirt jacket thing the next thing i found was this flowy skirt i just thought it was really pretty and simple this is the pattern um 
yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. So we'll see how this fits. I like the idea of wearing like high-waisted skirts and stuff. So I'm excited to see if I can make this into a nice high-waisted skirt. Last clothing piece, a little bit funky, um, but I just wanted to give them a try, were these like overalls. So they're blue and white, and I just thought that these would be kind of nice in the summer to wear, and maybe you could like roll the bottom, I don't even know. We'll see how these work in the try-on, um, but I just like overall type things like this in the summer, and for like going outside, running around with towns, going on walks, all that stuff. We like to play outside a lot when it's warmer out, even when it's cooler out like now we go for walks and stuff every day so i just thought this was this would be like a, a nice mom fit uh to run around in now i'm gonna move on to the baskets i'm gonna share the baskets that i got for myself first and then i'll move into the ones that i purchased for the hopefully the basket wall so one thing i found was this how cool is this it's like perfect it's perfect what i was hoping to use this for is to put like um, markers and stuff like that in there and like arts and crafts or i don't know we really have like a bunch of toys and stuff that we'd organize in this too so we'll see but this was a really nice find it's in like awesome condition great quality 2.99 love that i found this cool little basket look how cool that is and it's like it just goes right in the handle goes right into the basket like what the heck this is so cool and I love the colors and everything so this is just a little random basket that like I'll set on something and I don't know you can put something in it I don't know I like to use baskets and stuff for Towns' toys and everything so we'll see how I end up using this I found this basket I thought it was kind of cool because I kind of liked that besides just being like wicker it was kind of like rattan-esque with the pattern and everything this will be good to just stick some of Towns' toys in and throw them somewhere i found this it's rectangular seems like it'll be great for just putting toys and stuff in um you could put activities in this i don't know you could really do so many things with this so i just thought this would be super useful next one oh my gosh look at this this is perfect uh for toys and crafts and different things like that one of the main reasons i wanted to get baskets for myself and stuff is for a craft closet because it's like pretty organized but i just think it can be more organized everything can always be more organized in my mind i love organization and i like when things look nice and i can see everything and it's just not all thrown in there that's hard for me to handle um so I, this would be this will be perfect for something next one is this so this one has kind of cool colors it's kind of like a light color but then it has like this kind of reddish in it it is, i think it looks more red on camera but yeah this is cool so this will be great to just set on top of like one of his shelves or something or i don't know really anywhere okay, so this i was so excited to find this isn't necessarily a basket it's more of like a plate kind of this is what it looks like it is from ikea and i actually have the exact same one from ikea <laughs> so i found this at goodwill and i was like oops snatching that up because i love this i have it as a decor piece in my kitchen so yeah we love this so the next one I got is this and it's super unique um it is made out of popsicle sticks but it's like super nice like somebody worked really hard on this they did a great job on this and I just thought it was pretty cool and like at first I was thinking about using it for the basket wall but I don't think I'm going to now just because it's kind of unique like it's a little too unique for what I'm going for um but uh this will be really cool to keep some toys or something in so yeah this is really really freaking cool so now moving on to the baskets for the basket wall i have this little one it's i would prefer more round baskets but it was kind of hard to find some but this one will be really nice it's just a nice little one i might go one more time to the thrift store before i actually do the basket wall to see if i can find any smaller baskets um and i see if i get lucky but we'll see this one will work really good though in my mind this is the perfect basket wall basket <laughs> it uh not too big not too small flat um a little bit of a edge there but yeah this one this one was a good find so then i found this one which i thought was kind of cool it's not super flat but it's not like really high up or anything and i thought that this part was pretty cool on it um and it would add a little bit of color into besides like light colors so it just adds a little more color and a little bit of a pattern which i like i found this one which is like a really awesome basket wall basket it's comes up a little bit on the edges but 
yeah, pretty cool. And then the last three things are from, are from Target. Um, and they have these, which I thought would be cool for the basket wall. So I got this. These are all ch like charger plates. You'd use them on your kitchen table actually, but they're gonna go on the wall. I've seen people use these on the wall though. So this one's really cool. And then there's this one. And then there's this one. So we'll see out of all these baskets and stuff what I end up using. I'm, that will be in this video. So um, I'm excited to go and try to put it together and see what I can come up with. So that's the end of the haul part of this video. So next I'm going to be putting in the part where I create the basket wall and then that'll be the end of the video. So I'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching right now and like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I hope to do more decor stuff, more thrifting. I like fashion stuff, makeup, like I really like it all, home stuff. Yeah, so if you want to see something specific from me, please let me know, and thank you for watching this video. Bye!